The Canadian prairies is a region in Western Canada, which may correspond to several different definitions, natural or political. The region comprises the Canadian portion of the Great Plains, and notably, the prairie provinces or simply the prairies comprise the provinces of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, as they are partially covered by prairie grasslands, mostly in the southern regions of each province. In a more restricted sense, the term may also refer only to the areas of those provinces covered by prairie, their portions of the physiographic region known as the interior plains. Prairie also covers portions of northeastern British Columbia, though that province is typically not included in the region in a political sense. Definitions <inaudible> 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 The prairies in Canada are a temperate grasslands and shrublands biome, within the prairie ecoregion of Canada and consists of northern mixed grasslands in Alberta, Saskatchewan, and southern Manitoba. Northern short grasslands in southeastern Alberta and southwestern Saskatchewan. Northern tall grasslands in southern Manitoba, and Aspen Parkland, which covers central Alberta, central Saskatchewan, and southern Manitoba. The prairie starts from north of Edmonton, it covers the three provinces in a southward slanting line east to the Manitoba-Minnesota border. Alberta has the most land classified as prairie, while Manitoba has the least, as the boreal forest begins at a lower latitude in Manitoba than in Alberta. <laughs> Main climates According to the Köppen climate classification the Canadian prairies generally experience dry semi-arid climates Köppen BSK in the brown soil regions, and somewhat dry humid continental climates Köppen DFB in the outer dark brown and black soil areas. The Canadian prairies typically experience about 12 to 15 in 300 to 380 mm of annual precipitation in the semi-arid areas while they experience 16 to 20 in 410 to 510 mm in the continental regions. The area is also prone to thunderstorms in the spring and summer. Some of these storms, especially further south, are strong enough for tornadoes. Topic: Physical geography. Topic. Although the Prairie Provinces region is named for the prairies located within Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, the physical geography of the three provinces is quite diverse, consisting of portions of the Canadian Shield, the Western Cordillera and the Canadian Interior Plains. The plains comprise both prairies and forests while, with the exception of Arctic tundra along the Hudson Bay, the Shield is predominantly forested. Topic. Prairies. Topic. Three main grassland types occur in the Canadian prairies, tallgrass prairie, mixed grass prairie, and fescue prairie or using the WWF terminology, northern tall grasslands, northern mixed grasslands, and northern short grasslands. Each has a unique geographic distribution and characteristic mix of plant species. All but a fraction of 1% of the tallgrass prairie has been converted to cropland. What remains occurs on the 6,000 square kilometers (2,300 square miles) plain centered in the Red River Valley in Manitoba. Mixed prairie is more common and is part of the dry interior plains that extend from Canada south to the U.S. state of Texas. More than half of the remaining native grassland in the Canadian prairies is mixed. Though widespread in southern Saskatchewan and southeastern Alberta, because of extensive cattle grazing, it is estimated that only 24% of the original mixed prairie grassland remains. Fescue prairie occurs in the moister regions, occupying the northern extent of the prairies in central and southwestern Alberta and west-central Saskatchewan. The southwestern Canadian prairies, supporting brown and black soil types, are semi-arid and highly prone to frequent and severe droughts. The zones around the cities of Regina and immediately east of Calgary are also very dry. Most heavy precipitation quickly dissipates by the time it passes Cheadle on its way heading east. In an average year, southern Saskatchewan receives between 30 to 51 cm of precipitation, with the majority falling between April and June. Frost from October to April and sometimes even early May limits the growing season for certain crops. The eastern section of the Canadian prairies in Manitoba is well watered with several large lakes such as Lake Winnipeg and several large rivers. The area also gets reasonable amounts of precipitation. 
The middle sections of Alberta and Saskatchewan are also wetter than the south and have better farmland, despite having a shorter frost-free season. The areas around Edmonton and Saskatoon are especially notable as good farmland. Both lie in the northern area of the Pallisers Triangle, and are within Aspen Parkland a transitional prairie ecozone. Further north, the area becomes too cold for most agriculture besides wild rice operations and sheep raising, and it is dominated by boreal forest. The Peace region in northwestern Alberta is an exception, however. It lies north of the 55th parallel and is warm and dry enough to support extensive farming. Aspen Parkland covers the area. The long daylight hours in this region during the summer are an asset despite having an even shorter growing season than central Alberta. In fact, agriculture plays a major economic role in the Peace region. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. Topic: in the Canada 2011 census, the Canadian Prairie Provinces had a population of 5,886,906, consisting of 3,645,257 in Alberta, 1,208,268 in Manitoba, and 1,033,381 in Saskatchewan, up 8.9% from 5,406,908 in 2006. The three provinces have a combined area of 1,780,650.6 square kilometers, 687,513.0 square miles, consisting of 640,081.87 square kilometers, 247,136.99 square miles in Alberta, 552,329.52 square kilometers, 213,255.6 2 square miles in Manitoba and 588,239.21 square kilometers, 227,120.43 square miles in Saskatchewan. Topic: Growth. Topic: Some of the prairie region of Canada has seen rapid growth from a boom in oil production since the mid 20th century. According to StatsCanada, the Prairie Provinces had a population of 5,886,906 in 2011. In 2016, the population had grown by 14.6% to 6,748,280. Economy <inaudible> 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 Primary industries include agriculture wheat, barley, canola, brassica, oats, and cattle and sheep ranching. Also, natural resources such as oil sands Fort McMurray, Alberta, and other forms of oil production can be found on the plains. Secondary industries consist of the refinement of oils and agriculture processing. Culture and politics the prairies are distinguished from the rest of Canada by cultural and political traits. The oldest influence on prairie culture are the First Nations, who have lived in the area for millennia. The first Europeans to see the prairies were fur traders and explorers from eastern Canada mainly present-day Quebec and Great Britain via Hudson Bay. They gave rise to the Métis, working class, children of the fur trade. Not until the Canadian Pacific Railway was built did widespread agricultural settlement occur. During their settlement, the prairies were settled in distinct ethnic bloc settlements giving certain areas distinctively Ukrainian, German, French, or Scandinavian Canadian cultures. Some areas also developed cultures around their main economic activity. For example, southern Alberta is renowned for its cowboy culture, which developed when real open range ranching was practiced in the 1880s. Canada's first rodeo, the Raymond Stampede, was established in 1902. These influences are also evident in the music of Canada's prairie provinces. This can be attributed partially to the massive influx of American settlers who began to migrate to Alberta and to a lesser extent, Saskatchewan in the late 1880s because of the lack of available land in the United States. The prairie provinces have given rise to the prairie protest movements, such as the Winnipeg General Strike of 1919, the first general strike in Canadian history. 
These political movements both of the left and right tend to feed off of well-established feelings of Western alienation, and each one represents a distinct challenge to the perceived central Canadian elite. The prairies continue to have a wide range of political representation. While the Conservative Party of Canada has widespread support throughout the region, the New Democratic Party holds seats at the provincial level in all three provinces, forming the government in one, as well as holding seats at the federal level in all three provinces. The Liberal Party of Canada presently holds federal seats in urban areas of Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, while the Alberta Liberal Party holds a provincial seat in Alberta and the Manitoba Liberal Party holds a seat in Manitoba. See also References Topic. Topic. Further reading. Topic. Alberta Encyclopedia Online, 2005. Archer, John H. Saskatchewan: A History, 1980. Barnhart, Gordon L. Ed. Saskatchewan Premiers of the 20th Century, 2004. 418 pp. Bennett, John W. and Cena B. Cole. Settling the Canadian American West, 1890–1915, Pioneer Adaptation and Community Building. An Anthropological History, 1995. 311 pp. Online edition Danisk, Cecilia. Hired Hands, Labor and the Development of Prairie Agriculture, 1880–1930, 1995, 231 pp. Emery, George. The Methodist Church on the Prairies, 1896 to 1914. McGill Queens U Press, 2001. 259 pp. The Encyclopedia of Saskatchewan: A Living Legacy. U of Regina Canadian Plains Research Centre, 2005. Online 1071 pp in print edition. Fairbanks, C and S B Sundberg. Farm Women on the Prairie Frontier, 1983. Friesen, Gerald The Canadian Prairies, A History, University of Toronto Press, ISBN 0-8020-6648-8 Hodgson, Heather, ed. Saskatchewan Writers, Lives Past and Present. Regina, Canadian Plains Research Centre, 2004. 247 pp. Jones, David C. Empire of Dust, Settling and Abandoning the Prairie Dry Belt, 1987-316 pp. Cahey, Deborah. Making It Home, Place in Canadian Prairie Literature, 1998, 178 pp. Kononenko, Natalie. Vernacular Religion on the Prairies, Negotiating a Place for the Unquiet Dead. Canadian Slavonic Papers 60, No. 1-2 2018. Langford, N. Childbirth on the Canadian Prairies 1880-1930. Journal of Historical Sociology, 1995. Volume 8, No. 3, pp. 278-302. Langford, Nancy Louise. First Generation and Lasting Impressions, The Gendered Identities of Prairie Homestead Women, Ph.D. Dissertation U of Alberta 1994. 229 pp. Die 1995-56-4, 1544a. DANN 95214 Full Text, ProQuest Dissertations and Theses Laycock, David. Populism and Democratic Thought in the Canadian Prairies, 1910-1945, 1990. 369 pp. Melnick, George. The Literary History of Alberta, Volume 1, From Writing on Stone to World War II. U. of Alberta Press, 1998. 240 pp. Morton, Arthur S. and Chester Martin, History of Prairie Settlement 1938-511 pp. Morton, W. L. Manitoba, A History University of Toronto Press, 1957 Online Edition Nori, K. H. The Rate of Settlement of the Canadian Prairies, 1870-1911, Journal of Economic History, Vol. 35, No. 2 Jun, 1975, pp. 410-427 in JSTOR, Statistical Models Palmer, Howard. 
The Settlement of the West 1977 online edition Pitsula, James M. Disparate Duo Beaver 2005-85-4, A Comparison of Saskatchewan and Alberta, full text in EBSCO Rollings Magnuson, Sandra. Canada's Most Wanted, Pioneer Women on the Western Prairies. Canadian Review of Sociology and Anthropology 2037 2, 223-238. ISSN 0008-4948 Fulltext, EBSCO Swiripa, Francis. Storied Landscapes, Ethno-Religious Identity and the Canadian Prairies University of Manitoba Press, 2010 296 pp. ISBN 978-0-88755-720-0. Thompson, John Hurd. Forging the Prairie West 1998. Wardhaw, Robert A. Mackenzie King and the Prairie West 2000. 328 pp. Wazer, Bill, and John Purrett. Saskatchewan, A New History 2005. Topic Historiography Topic Francis, R. Douglas. In Search of a Prairie Myth, A Survey of the Intellectual and Cultural Historiography of Prairie Canada, Journal of Canadian Studies, Revue d'Etudes Canadiennes 24 No. 3 1989, 44 Plus Online Ingalls, Ernie B. 2009, Peel's Bibliography of the Canadian Prairies to 1953, University of Toronto Press, ISBN 0-8020-4825-0 Wardhaw, Robert A., ed. Toward Defining the Prairies, Region, Culture, and History, 2001. 234 pp. Wardhaw, Robert, Calder, Allison 2005, History, Literature, and the Writing of the Canadian Prairies, University of Manitoba Press, ISBN 0-88755-682-5-310 pp. External links Topic. Media related to Canadian prairies at Wikimedia Commons